Hello people of YouTube, this is 12 Ruben, and this is a message out to the PS2 emulating community. This is actually a good, big breakthrough if none of you actually have ever figured out how to make this thing portable. This would be actually like a good display on the go. Make sure you read a controller. <laughs> um, yeah, so this video will actually show you how to make it work correctly. Um, I'll leave the files in the description. Really, it's just two DirectX files. That's it. And Yes, um, this will show you how to actually get around administrative privileges on most like like non computers that you don't probably own and you just want to do this on like some other computer. Yeah, and yeah, as long as I'm not free. Yeah, and this is actually a good breakthrough, but you actually need to have a good GPU or CPU, whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, and not not anything Intel related besides CPU. I recommend a quad core CPU um, or but like at least a good graphics card. I'll put mine in the description of the video what I'm using for a reference graphics cards in some cases. Yeah. Like this is what I'm running on right now with this graphics well two of them at once. So yeah you'll get good performance. Alright, enough chat. Let's get on with it. Alright, now we're back at my desktop. This is where the magic will happen. So, and, yeah, I know, I got off a little hard drive and that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I try work, getting to work, but okay. So, go to your drive space where you want it. This is on a flash drive, so, yeah, extra fucking drive thing. So, then, and I have it rooted to this directory. And then you'll have your main PS2 thing. Just to make sure it works, I will open it up. Everything's loaded successfully since I got DirectX installed on this computer. And this is the bat file that you'll need. I'll show you how to save it in just a second. Okay. So then you save it like, well, I just save it as DirectX. You can name it the heck you want. So just copy this in. It, well, this is the easiest thing to do. Or at least just right like that so I'll make a folder for this to work okay and then up here I got my DirectX files don't need those two I don't know why I have them in here but these two are DirectX 9 files I know this is older stuff but yeah I just wanted to get it to work I just wanted to see this thing work on a computer without administrative privileges so yeah this is actually completely legit so all you gotta do is just open this file that the it, this is not an error code okay this is just showing that it will it's just looking through the root di directory so it will say, this is all running okay so then yeah so if I go in here I'm running on a DirectX 9 see like this right here and then well I've been trying to get this to work on a really bad computer but don't do this on a really low end computer it will not work correctly you'll get really bad FPS unless you're playing a flying game on and you're looking at the sky you'll get good FPS but this <laughs> yeah um for this I will show you actually wait if I wonder if it'll work um I haven't this before but okay so it says DirectX 9 I have DirectX 9 files only in this so if I don't know if this will screw it up or not, but if if it does not work correctly, I'm gonna switch it to uh, next the next latest one. Um, gonna they don't not really like this studios. Yeah. Um. Just messing with all, matter with all those. So, go to here, select the game. I got only these two put into this folder. I better use Ace Combat 4 for this to show you it works. And there you go.
Yeah, and I have my own key binding set up here. Yeah, since I'm running the hardware, this game has problems. To show this actually works correctly. Yeah. Alright, that's a quick reference. Okay, so, yeah, this is actually a good working thing. I'm not even sure if it's just for doing it, but I am. Um, also, this is the video that will also be helpful if I actually forgot to save the file as a file type, but he will, in this video, show you how to do this. Well, he doesn't speak, but he's doing it with a different program, but this is the real actual way to do it. And. You can just copy and paste it from here. I'll leave the video, his video in the description below. And I'll leave this in the description below also. So you can save it into the bat file. And give Shadow Gaming 96 a thumbs up if you want to. I, he, this is the reason behind the way how to um, do this. So without this guy, I would never figure out how to do this right. So this is a legitimate this is a legitimate thing to do. If you really if this is like saying how to put it like don't have a, a like a really like if you just want to play on that work, this is a good way to do it. So without having to go through the hassle of asking for admin privileges to install this type of software or anything like that so yep there you go